Hi guys, welcome back. So today I created this look using the NYX Wear By It palette. Now this is a very large palette. It is a 40 pan palette. And as you can see, there are several different shades in here. Cool tones, warm tones, blues, greens, plums, lighter shades, as well as mattes and shimmers. Now this palette is really, really gorgeous. And I do believe you can use it along all of the seasons. There's no mirror here as you can see, but I don't really mind that. It's a gorgeous palette. So let's just go ahead and look at the back. Now on the back as you can see, there's a lot of information and that's because not all of the shadows have the same ingredients. One of the shadows, which is the really pretty deep cranberry shade, is actually slotted as not safe for the eyes. <laughs> and that is one of the shadows that I put all over my eyes today. So anyway, that's just for your information. It does have an 18 month shelf life. So let's go ahead and jump into these swatches. Now I'm not swatching this whole palette today. I'm just swatching a good variety of the shimmer shades so you can see how they swatch. See what the colors look like on my skin tone and just get an idea of them. And I'm also going to swatch a good variety of the matte shades as well. Now with the matte shades you can see some of them swatch very nicely. Some of them are a little bit powdery, but for the most part, the pigment is there very nicely on these shadows. So let's just go ahead and jump into how I created this look today. Now I started out with my MAC Ochre Paint Pot and just set my eyelids to get ready for this look. Now the first shade that I'm using today is this pretty burnt orange shade. And I'm just using this Luxie brush, just a regular blending brush to go ahead and place that shadow all over my lid. I really wanted a blown out type of look with this shadow and I wanted to see how it would blend out all over my lid. And as you can see, it's nicely pigmented and it blended out nicely. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this warmer burgundy shade with this, <laughs> this is, a generic eyeshadow brush I, brush I got from AliExpress, you guys. So I'm sorry I don't have a name or number for it. But it's just a regular eyeshadow brush. And I'm using that to deepen the outer and inner corners of my eyelid. And I'm also dragging it across through my crease area. Now, as you can see, these shadows are blending very nicely together. I'm putting in a lot of work just to make sure that my inner and outer corners are nice and deep, but I like how these colors look together. Now I'm going into the darkest cranberry shade, which is the one that's supposed to be not safe for your eyes. <laughs> and I'm going to take just a regular generic fluffy eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to go ahead and deepen my outer corner with that. Yeah, sorry guys, I don't have a name or a number for this brush. But I'm just taking that, using that to deepen that outer corner, dragging it just a little bit into the crease area. And as you can see, this color is nicely pigmented. Now I decided to use my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion to cut my crease today. And I found that I really, really like cutting my crease with this a lot more than using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I mean, the base is just really, really nice, and the eyeshadow stuck to it very, very well. And it was easier, actually, for me to cut my crease using it, so I'll probably be using it in the future. Now I'm going into this bronzy shimmer shadow, and I am wetting my brush for this, and I'm just going to place that on the inner corner of my eyelid. And as you, you can see how that pigment just really popped on top of that primer potion, I loved it. It just really, really stood out. Now I'm going into this nice lavender shimmer shadow and I'm placing that on the second half of that cut crease. And as you can see, I didn't do a full complete cut crease with this look, I just went ahead and did a half cut crease but both of those shimmer shadows turned out really nicely. 
So I'm going into the black, taking a very small eyeshadow brush and just patting that black in the outer corner of my eyelid, just making sure to blend it nicely into that half cut crease, just to deepen that look on the outer edge. And as you can see, it's actually really deepening that plum shade very nicely. Now I'm taking my Stila Magnificent Metal, and this one is actually in the color Smoldering Satin. And I decided I wanted to add just a little bit of a glitter line on top of that cut crease. You don't have to do this step if you don't like glitter or you just want to keep the look a little more simple. But I wanted to add a little pizzazz, so I went ahead and added a line of glitter along that cut crease. Now as you can see here, my complexion is complete. And I will list all of the items that I used on my face in the description box. But I'm just going into that black and using that on my lower lash line just to add a little bit of depth to this look. Now I'm going into that deep cranberry shade and just taking a flat shader brush and blending that cranberry shade out just below that black shade just to add a little bit of smokiness to this look. And lastly, I'm going to go into that burnt orange shadow, and I'm using a small fluffy brush to just blend out the edge of that cranberry and that black shade. And I'm also just taking it up a bit to make sure that this whole eye look just blends nicely together. As you can see, these shadows are blending out very nicely together. Now I'm going in with some of my black gel liner and I'm just creating a wing for this look. I think a wing looks very nice with this look, so I'm just going in and adding that. And I believe this is the Pretty Vulgar gel liner. And I'm keeping that very close to my lash line. Now I'm going in with this Pop Beauty. It's a purple eyeliner and it's my first time using it, but it's very, very nice. It's smooth and nicely pigmented. I really like the color that it added to my lower lash line for this look. Now today I decided to go ahead and use my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. This mascara is definitely not one of my favorites. I never use it, but I thought I'd try it out again just to see if my thoughts about it had changed. Wish they didn't. I don't like the applicator and yeah, no, I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm using my Rimmel Mascara on my lower lash line because the applicator is smaller. Now I'm using my Milani Strobe Light Highlighter today and as you can see it got a little bit crazy but I was able to go ahead and blend that out <laughs> using a larger brush just to kind of blend it into my skin a little bit better because I did get a little crazy with the highlighter but it's all good. I really like this highlighter, it's very pretty and it's nice and soft. Now I'm going in with my ColourPop and Ellery Lip Liner and it's a really, really pretty burgundy cranberry type shade, perfect for the fall. And on top of that, I'm going to use my Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick and this one is the color Evil Twin, which is a very, very deep, dark, vampy shade that I think looks really nice with this eye look. I'm going in with my Juvia's Place blush today and I'm using this really dark shade because I want to use it as an additional contour on my face but you have to be careful with this because a very very small amount goes a long way so as you can see I'm taking my time and really blending that out nicely on my cheeks. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up with some of my Pure Miracle Mist 
hydrating spray. I love this stuff, you guys. It's very nice and it smells like citrus. So this is the look, you guys, that I created with this NYX Wear By It palette. Honestly, I am extremely surprised at how this palette performs. I didn't, I don't, really, I don't have any complaints about this palette. It's very nicely pigmented. The colors blended out nicely. There's such a large variation in this palette that I know I can create any type of look that I want to create with it. So I'm really looking forward to trying out some of these other shades across fall, winter, spring, and summer. So definitely look for more looks from this palette. I like it a lot. For $35, it's not a cheap or inexpensive palette, but you get 40 shades, so it's a great deal, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!